Hey, I am Alexander. And I'm Jeanette. And we are here at the movies. We just saw Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah, we did. And it was awesome. Popcorn explosion extravaganza. Popcorn awesome. explosion <laughs> extravaganza. Uh, definitely check it out if you like the first one. Uh, it's a little bit different. The beginning is a little CGI heavy with not enough practical, so it was a little bit too fake for my liking in the beginning and I kind of felt that heart was missing from the beginning but once you hit the uh, second half it picks up you get a lot more backstory of the characters you get some emotional beats and it starts to really feel a lot more solid I will be less critical and just say that I really enjoyed it um, <laughs> I also was enjoying the fact that we saw this in the theater and we had people cheering and like doing the yes thing in front of us and like just it was awesome. <laughs> I felt like it definitely came together a lot better for me than Days of Future Past, which I felt like was a bit rushed and compact, and not enough of the emotional beats. This one definitely, I feel like the Avengers are doing something that the X-Men aren't, even though I'm really excited for, you know, the next uh, you know X-Men movie. Apocalypse is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be great. I just feel like the Avengers right now is doing it better. Uh, it's just definitely need some time. I can't wait for the standalone films where they get to take time with these characters. Absolutely. Like, it was kind of fun to see more about Hawkeye in this movie. And, uh, I, <laughs> I want him to have his own movie. Soon. <laughs> so, yeah, we really had a good time. I think you guys really enjoy it. You're not going to get disappointed. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of heart. There's some really good story beats. Uh, sometimes the CGI is better than the others, you know, sometimes it looks really fake and sometimes the lighting is really great and it looks fantastic. Uh, I like some of the newer characters, I also felt like they're kind of rushed, the Vision is kind of rushed, uh, even Ultron is kind of rushed. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Strucker, uh, Baron Von Strucker, but it seems like they just kind of... Uh, spoiler. They just kind of, I'm not, no spoiler, okay. they just kind of, they just kind of rush characters. I feel like a lot of characters just kind of jump right into the story without any time to really establish themselves. So I'm looking forward to when they slow it down a little bit. Just a little. Just enough so that we really get more of who these characters are and why they exist. Uh, I understand some of these characters are androids, so they're like, hey, I can just figure things out in five seconds. But I feel like that's a little bit much for us as humans to connect with. On, on a side note... At some point in the near future, I have a feeling, the fact that we keep victimizing robots in all of our sci-fi films is going to come back to haunt us. Yeah. Just saying. They're going to be like, is that real? Is this fact? Fiction? Is, is this the history of mankind beating up on robots? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So, thank you guys for joining us. Once again, I'm, Sal I'm Alexander from Haunting <laughs> TV. Look at where the camera is. And I am Jeanette. And welcome to our new, more compact, fun cell phone footage format. Hope you like it. We're bringing you places because you fit in our pockets now. And Yay! I would give this, uh, I would say a good, you know, three and a half out of five blood spattered stars. You really probably, what do you think? I want to give it a four and a half. She gives it a four and a half. Because I'm going to watch it a lot. So it's going to be like, like a little Cisco and Ebert thing where we just kind of like each give our own rating. And it just, like, you just check it out, teach their own, hope you like it. And once again, I'm Xander, Jeanette, and see you in your nightmares. In your nightmares. Uh,